I'm really interested in music that takes on a sense of physicality. There's been a lot of albums where listening to it feels like I'm being guided through or over a giant landscape, whether literal and natural, or more abstract and internal. There's always been albums that I weirdly tend to associate with some kind of physical object, and more often than not they become a kind of security item for me. Usually it's like a blanket or a pillow, but in the case of Etiquette by Cassiotone for The Painfully Alone, I think it's more like a well-worn teddy bear. It brings both the straightforward physical comfort and a bittersweet reminder of easier times that have long since passed. What's really interesting about this album for me is how it feels both aged and young. The album is totally exhausted, it's been through a lot, but there's still a sense that a good chunk of its life is still stretching before it. That could be hopeful, as there's still time to improve its circumstances, but it could also just add to the exhaustion, since there's such a long way to go. Owen Ashworth, the sole member of Cassio Tone for The Painfully Alone, has a worn, rugged, trembly voice that lends the music most of its weary quality, especially on Don't They Have Payphones Wherever You Were Last Night, which also shows the album's understated but still catchy sense of melody. But again, despite the weariness, there's still a sense of youth and possibility to the album, most obviously on the conveniently titled Young Shields, but also the general language and situations written about, like New Year's Kiss and Nashville Parthenon, feel more like the concerns and situations of young people to me. There's also queer themes on songs like I Love Credence, my personal favorite on the album, and once again Nashville Parthenon, which further cements the feeling in my mind. The actual music on this album is just... <laughs> precious, actually. The melodies are simple, as are the synths. The songs are gentle. It feels like each one is floating down slowly like a snowflake. The whole album is very wintry, parts of it feeling distinctly like a lonesome holiday season. Etiquette is a somber album, and I rarely completely and totally vibe with this particular kind of subtle emotion, but even for me, it's incredibly easy to empathize with. It's at least as warm as it is cold. I get the feeling that it would also comfort me if I was going through a hard time. It's overtly heartbreaking, but it's subtly sweet, I think. Okay, next episode, we'll do a happy album. I, I promise. I'm like, oh, I prefer positive emotions, blah, blah, blah. Shut up, me. You don't know 